Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Bubble Talk with Burge. Are you ready to get burged? I know I am. I've got my party hat on. It's Friday. So I just want to say hello out there, everybody. It's time to get burged with Bubble Talk with Burge. And look what I have today. So I have my little Bubble Talk, um, uh, whatever this is. <laughs> Michael and Denise made this for me. Uh, along with so many other things that I'm going to have for you in our next Essence of Being, which is in October uh, here in Atlanta. And also I'll be in Orlando at the Unconference with Women's Prosperity Network. Uh, we'll have it there as well. And that's October 12th through the 14th. So I'm inviting all of you to come play with me there and at any one of those two places So and find out what your bubble talk is. So today is Friday. I don't know why I'm so... I don't know. It's just another day, right? So I just hope I want to give a shout out to all the people in North Carolina and South Carolina and all of the people that are having some um, high water raising uh, things that are going on in their life. And so again, our, my shout out to all of the people that are helping with the uh, rescue and the support. And, you know, the best of humanity comes out, doesn't it? The best of humanity comes out when we are having all of these things happen. So my, uh, wow, my intention for all of us is not to wait to have tragedy happen to have the best come out. So that seems to be a pattern for a lot of us is that we bring up our best selves and our most compassionate when other people are in trouble or when there's trauma or some kind of accident or these uh, disasters. And I just want to say, let's be that way all the time. Let's help our fellow human being um, all the time. So I just want to say, uh, to give a shout out, thanks for all those people out there that are dealing with that. Um, here in Atlanta, it's beautiful. Don't know what's happening with the weather there, but uh, welcome to Bubble Talk with Burge. And Bubble Talk is that subconscious thought that keeps you from getting what you want. It's like the bubble above your head, like this, what you see in a cartoon character, right? And those cartoon characters are um, thinking something, and that's your subconscious thought. That is what your unconscious or subconscious thought is thinking. And it may not be aligned with what your conscious thought is. So I just want to say we're going to look at our bubble talk with some things today. Uh, every Tuesday and Friday, uh, stay tuned if I'm not teaching or if I'm not speaking somewhere. I uh, will be doing these bubble talk series. Um, and a lot of the time what I do is not a lot every time with bubble talk. Uh, we have our essence of being cards. And here they are. Look how pretty. And these Essence of Being cards you can get at essenceofbeing.com. And they are oracle cards, incentive cards, intuition cards, something that we can focus on for the weekend. And I just want to say I would really love to focus on something fun. I don't know about you, but I have been working a lot. And yes, I love my work and I love what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm passionate about it, but sometimes all the minutia and all the things get in the way of me really just basking in knowing that we are doing something beautiful and wonderful for the planet, for each individual person who comes through any of our workshops or programs or does any kind of coaching with me or our other coaches or other trainers, and uh, really gearing up for the, the rest of this year. Uh, because we're going to blow it out, people. So I just want to say, until recently, look, until recently, isn't that cute? So we'll have these available for you to have, so you can put these up in your space. But it's got our little logo here, right? But until recently, a lot of things have happened where maybe things aren't going our way, right? So this is a great little pattern interrupt until recently. Okay, it's a great pattern interrupt to say so that it kind of shifts your focus. So I wanted to shift my focus of working so much and just say, let's have fun. Let's play with little hats. So today, this is kind of like part of my new um, experience, not new experience, my new colors and my new way of being, which is I really choose to have more fun in my life and to also trust and allow and don't ask how that was the card that we pulled on Tuesday if you've been following me okay so 
Trust and allow and don't ask cows. What, how did you do this week? Did you trust and allow and don't ask cow? That's the actual card that we pulled, right? So I choose to, uh, they're, they're making all these beautiful um, wood uh, little things you can get little placards and things uh, at the unconference will be there at Women's Prosperity Network um, October 12th through the 15th in Orlando and of course Essence of Being my last one this year in Atlanta is October 5th through the 7th please come play so and uh, without further ado let's see what we can focus on and again our hearts our minds our souls are connected to all of those people that are going through any kind of tragedies especially of the East Coast right now with all the weather just makes you things that make you go huh why is this happening so let's pull a card and refocus um, and see what our focus is today for this weekend oh I love this what did I pull my strength lies in my vulnerability so <laughs> this this card is so powerful for me it's something that we teach in our essence of being programs uh, that it's totally counterintuitive what do you mean my strength lies in my vulnerability am I being vulnerable here with my beautiful cute little hat well no I'm just being silly and crazy but my question for you is hi Christy hi hun my question for you is are you being vulnerable that's where your strength lies so let me read the card to you okay hi Christy okay the more open and heart-centered you are the more personal power and strength you have to hold your head up high and be at integrity to be who you are with great vulnerability comes great insight and awareness and authenticity in that place there is no need to defend yourself. One open person can change a thousand hearts. Hi, Brad. Speaking of a thousand hearts. Hello, my love. So my strength lies in my vulnerability. When I first started talking about this, it didn't make sense to me because most of us understand strength as power and fighting and, you know, that kind of strength. But the vulnerability part is really important to be able to open up. It's so powerful just to open up and be authentic and be real. And more people, it's, it's a stronger presence in the world. You can feel people. Hi, Denise. I'm showing off all your things here. Until recently, all right? So until recently, my bubble talk, <laughs> until recently, my bubble talk was I couldn't be vulnerable. Now, I... Trust and allow and don't ask how, which is what we pulled on Tuesday, right? So t this weekend, my challenge to all of us out there is this, that understand that the more vulnerable you become, okay, the stronger you are, because in order to be vulnerable, you have to open up. In order to be vulnerable, you have to allow yourself to connect and be open and filter out all the fear about being seen, about being heard, uh, about being not authentic, about trying to put on a mask or a hat, or put on something that's not you. Uh, but mine's, this is, you know, me. So there you go. So I just want to just put the challenge out there and read this one more time about holding your head up high and being at integrity and allowing yourself to be who you are with that great vulnerability. Because when I'm teaching classes or when I'm sharing with people, I share my vulnerability. I mean, this is what you see is what you get. Okay. And if you do the same, in order to do that, you have to be not afraid to be who you are about what people think about you about what's going to happen to you um, to be authentic is a way of being compassionate with yourself and others and being real so i invite you all this weekend is be real be real as you can and allow yourself to just play and be authentic and tell your truth with compassion Remember, telling your truth is really great, being able to speak your truth and voice your opinion. And remember to do it in a way that is with compassion, to not be overbearing. So to, to really allow your strength to come through, the more vulnerable you become, the stronger you become. Okay, so again, the more, the more open and heart-centered you are, the more personal power and strength you have to hold your head up high and be at integrity. And it reminds me of the Spider-Man thing that is with great 
power comes great um, responsibility. Well, this says with great vulnerability comes great insight, awareness, and authenticity. Boy, whoever wrote these things, huh? And I did. So here's the thing about this. When you are ready to be authentic and to basically have more insight and awareness in your life, one way to do that is to be more vulnerable. But you have to trust, right? Trust that you're not that you're going to be safe. Not care what anybody else thinks. I don't care if you think my hat's silly, but I'm having fun with it. So I have to remind myself to be more vulnerable and be more open. And yeah, oftentimes when you do that, maybe in the past you've been hurt. Maybe you've been open with people and they've hurt you. Uh, maybe you've told your secrets to or you've, you've let your masks down and people have taken advantage of that, okay? So remember, you're not a victim and does that mean you're going to close it off forever and ever? Amen. Awesome hat. Thank you, Denise. So that's my little awesome bubble talk here too. Yes, it's really great. So I would just say, let's challenge each other this weekend. Okay. Certainly all of those people that are, that are dealing with a lot of trauma right now on the East coast, uh, a lot of those people that are having issues right now with, um, the weather, um, and a lot of other issues. Okay. How do you, how do you stay vulnerable? I mean, those people are vulnerable, aren't they? But they're, in other words, let's be vulnerable through choice as opposed to having things happen to us and asking for help. So for some people, asking for help is, is hard. And oftentimes when you're vulnerable, I mean, in order to ask for help, sometimes you have to let the mask down and say, you know what, I don't have it all figured out. I don't know, I'm no, no man is an island, right? So oftentimes we do look at that and go, I, I, I don't know how to ask for help unless I really, really, really need it. And then sometimes you don't even do that. But see, being vulnerable is not necessarily asking for help. That's just one, that's just one way of being vulnerable is saying, hey, here I am, I'm holding my shape, I'm holding my integrity of who I am, and it doesn't matter what you think or say about me because I know that I'm powerful. I know that I am worthy. I know that I am important. And so my challenge for all of us this weekend is to keep being open, open up your vulnerability and be strong with it because nobody can knock that down. That is the essence of who you are. Somebody should make up essence cards. Oh, already did. Somebody should make up an essence of being class. Oh, already did. So that is the essence of who you are. So me kidding around like I'm doing right now, that's the essence of who I am. And a lot of times I forget that because I'm so buried in, you know, I've got to work and got to do these things and got to handle all this stuff, right? And so sometimes I forget who the essence of Burge is. So ask yourself, who am I? What is my essence? Is my essence, in order for me to get in touch with that, I have to be vulnerable with myself and I have to be willing to be open to other people to let them see me in that way. Okay? So are you vulnerable? So share this, like this, send this to your friends. Uh, look at the video of it again. It's going to go on YouTube. Listen to my podcasts. Listen to my power calls that I do every uh, third Wednesday of every month. And again, stay tuned for more of this on Bubble Talk on, on Monday. Uh, do it on Tuesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. Okay. Oh, I got a heart. Thank you. Thank you for my heart. So... I want, to I want to enjoy the last essence of being that I'm going to be having this year in Atlanta. So come and play with me. Come and learn. Come and explore. Come and discover. Maybe a deeper understanding of who you are and how you can manifest in the world because you are a conscious leader. And I am building and we are creating and growing a conscious community okay, of a global community of conscious leaders who are em empowering other people to create that win-win world because it takes all of us. Hi, Sandra Haynesworth, speaking of conscious leader. So yeah, it takes all of us. It, t it takes a village. It takes a bunch of conscious leaders together to empower other people to create the win-win world that we really, really, really need in this world right now. You rock too, Sandra. So Denise, be there supporting all these amazing people. Yes, yes, yes. So come, come play with us. Look at your bubble talk. Whoop. 
look at your bubble talk and see what, how can I play a bigger game? How can I show up? and play a bigger game than I'm playing right now. I don't know, maybe you could be more vulnerable. How about that, huh? So I'm gonna be teaching next week, this has nothing to do with Essence of Being, but I'm gonna be vulnerable next week and I'm gonna be teaching drama. I'm doing master drama classes for teenagers next week. So that's one way that I'm gonna be opening up to more creativity and vulnerability and being more of the essence of who I am. So even though I am uber busy like you, doing so many different things, being so many different things, wearing so many different hats, okay, uh, I'm still gonna find time to really add value by me having fun as well. So go out and have fun. Bubble drama, you're so cute. That's so cute. Yes, bubble drama. So. I love working with kids because, man, they get it like that, okay? Uh, us adults, it takes a while, so, you know, I have to work a little harder with the kid, with the adults. But come play with us in October. We'll be at the uh, Women's Prosperity Network uh, Unconference in October. I'll be speaking there. Um, also, my husband Brad will be there, too, so you can come meet him. He's watching me. He doesn't watch me very often, so, oh, he went away as soon as I said his name. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Well, anyway, just know that you've been burged. Be vulnerable this weekend. Know that you make a difference and that you matter and that you have a choice and that you are not a victim. Okay. And even though, again, you may be going through some trauma right now or going through some really crazy things, especially the south, uh, the coast right now, just know that you're not alone and that the humanity, the compassion that we have, let it shine through the entire time. Don't wait for a drama or tragedy to strike in order for you to be that. So I will see you all uh, hopefully next week and I'll definitely see you uh, in October, hopefully in Essence of Being. I really wanna play with you. So um, until then, let your vulnerability come through and you have been burged. <laughs>